Hi everyone, John Paul Brionis here from InMotion Hosting and thank you for joining us for another video in our cPanel series. Today I'm going to show you how to set up an email forwarder in cPanel and in webmail. First I'm going to show you how to create an email forwarder in cPanel. So let's go ahead and log into cPanel. Alright, once you log in, we're going to go to this mail section here. And under the mail section, we're going to click the forwarders button right here. Go ahead and click that. When you do that, it's going to bring you to this forwarders page. At the top here, we're going to add a forwarder. So click the add forwarder button. This is where you will enter the email address that you want to forward. In my case, I'm just using a username at example.com. If you have other subdomains or other domains in your cPanel, you could actually select them here as well by clicking the drop down box. In the destination field here, you can enter next to forward to email address. Enter the address that you want to forward it to. And I'm just going to make one up. Um, let's see, test user at. Um, Oops, example domain dot com. Once you add the address you want it to go to, you can click the add forwarder button. I usually like to point out to people that here is a discard and send an error to the sender. You can select this if instead of forwarding the email, you wanted to actually just let the sender know that that email address is no longer valid. You can actually change the failure message here. Uh, by default, it's going to say no such person as address, but you could change that to example. Uh, their new email address is this, or um, you could contact them here instead, or you know they're no longer here. Whatever you want to put in there, and that'll be the actual part of the error that the person who sends to that address up here would get. But in my case, I'm going to actually just forward uh, the email address to this other address, so that way it also has a copy of the emails. So once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and click this Add Forwarder button. And you'll see all email that is sent to username and example.com will forward to test user at example domain.com. And keep in mind, you can put any email address in there as the, uh, the recipient uh, of the forwarder. All right, and this is how you create a forwarder in, in cPanel. And once again, you'd have to have access to cPanel to create one here. And I went back, I just clicked go back, and you could see it listed here. If you had multiple ones, you can actually see the multiple ones as well, or the additional ones. Alright, so I'm going to log out of cPanel and I'm going to show you how to do this in webmail. It's very similar. Let's go ahead and log into webmail. Remember to enter your full email address as your username. Oops. Typo there. And then your password. Okay, when you log into webmail, you'll see the three options here. Uh, towards the bottom here you'll see the forwarding options and that's what we're going to click. If you get automatically loaded into one of these because you selected the enable auto load, you can actually use the back button to return to this page. Let's go ahead when you're on this page click the forwarding options button here. When you do that you'll see this page here and you see the add forwarder button here on the, on the bottom. It's very similar to the page we saw before in cPanel. It doesn't have the domain forwarder section there anymore but go ahead and click the add forwarder in this case, because you're logged into webmail for your email address, you can only forward the current email address that you're logged in for. Once again, cPanel has access to all of the addresses, so if you needed access to an additional address, you can do that in cPanel. But here, same thing. This is the address that's going to forward in the destination section. Enter the address you want to forward to. And in my test, I'm just going to send it to admin at uh, testdomain5.com. I just made that up and then click the add forwarder button to create that folder. Once again, you'll see all email that is sent to this address will forward to that address. And that means that the forwarder has been created. Click the go back button and, and you're finished. Now any email that comes into this address will send a copy to that other address that we just entered there. Thank you for joining us for another video in our cPanel series. Feel free to like this video and comment below so we can bring you more great videos in the future. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? 
Something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.